It is Friday night, Gareth, Sean, Craig, that's that bit done. Uh, there is the big fella on the horizon. It's all my thoughts are taken up with now. I've gone from Paris, post Paris, all the post Paris bits and pieces, to a lad who's six foot two, six foot three, playing up front for Liverpool. I love one of them. Yeah, and not only that, a lad who's six foot two, six foot three, but really fast as well. Dead fast. Dead fast, dead strong, um, finished with both feet. Um, and when he heads the ball, he really heads the ball from what I can see so far. And I enjoy people who really head the ball. I always remember uh, Carl Hines Reed, the one for the kids, but he did a header at Anfield that didn't go in, but it was from so far out. And the neck muscles were on him and the power he got. <laughs> and still to this day, I go, I don't know how he bulleted that, that hard. Is it a neck muscle thing, this? Like, is that something it's they were going on? Well, it's it? timing and neck muscles, yeah. But it's yeah. neck muscles to get that proper bullet at, like header. And it looks like the Nunes fella might have that. But what I like about him as well is, look, there's loads of attributes that are good. There are some that are questionable, and, you know, obviously people are highlighting them. Um, but he's 22 years old, and there's loads of raw talent to work with. And I think, you know, Liverpool have shown Klopp, Linders, etc. You've got a good track record of working with raw talent and making it better. And, you know, we've had these situations before, haven't we, where we've brought, like, players who are meant to do a certain thing and then don't. So, you know, Andy Carroll, Stu Down and fellas like that. I just don't see it happening. I just, I have so much trust in the people who are running the club now. And I know they would have done the due diligence. And I know that they've got a Nunes dossier. And I know it's not, not just because he played really well against us twice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm dead excited about it. I think it's it, it, it's great. It's great to have a big fella again up front. <laughs> I mean, it look, it, and it looks like that will be the case, of course. I mean, there's been this, last 24 hours, there's been this laughable Man United trying to kibosh it thing. Why would you go there? Yeah. But that's Sean, that's the, the, the Man United thing's been dead interesting, I think, the extent to which it's just looked almost outlandish, you think about going to Manchester United. And it's not so long ago, genuinely, and when I say not so long, I don't mean like, you know, uh, like eight seasons back to Fergus. I mean, literally almost three years ago, this wouldn't have been anywhere near as cut and dried as that. But right now, it is the idea that he would go to Manchester United when Liverpool are interested. Just looks like something you point and laugh at. Yeah, and that's what we're doing. Exactly that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm wondering whether they just did it, just to say they did it, do you know what I mean? Just to show they're in the market. Like the Everton we, way. Yeah, yeah. Everton we identify Bashira. the good players, yeah. and then they go, yeah, they are quite decent. Maybe we'll uh, put a bit in as well, just to look like we know what we're doing. But yeah, they definitely don't. And I think if they're, they're keeping the likes of Ronaldo on and not short up front, I think they could do better with what they've got. But it's a bit of a mad thing. I think they need to sort out the midfield more than anything. So if he's getting quoted, what, a hundred million pound euro package, I really don't think that's what Man United should, should be going for. But look, I'm dead intrigued about them. I can't confess to say I've watched loads of them apart from, you know, some clips and what he did against us. But I think a lot of the chat has been around and being tall, a bit more of a traditional striker, maybe a bit more of a nine. But if you're looking at Benfica, they pay with um, a front three line. So yep. it wouldn't be mad to think he's going to be asked to come in and do what Sadio Mane's done all season, which is, I don't think we'll ever sign a striker that can just poach and, and sit up there. That's not a, a Jurgen Klopp player. He he and the club recruit for utility. And we never really buy a player that can only do one role ever. Yep. So I really can't see him just being like a Harry Kane and, and lingering up there, I think. He'll fit in with with a front three, but I think you know four two three one's a bit more interesting, and I think we might maybe start with that um, more than usual because usually we kind of switch to that towards the end of the game. So that's my hypothesis. No idea how it's going to pan no, out. He hasn't even signed yet, but I'm intrigued. I was just going to say on the United thing, it's like a bit of a reverse. We used to rely on the name Liverpool to bring in footballers at times whenever things aren't going very well for us, or that we don't have the same stature within European football, and that seems to reverse. I, I I was on holidays with my uncle, who's a United fan, and he said the words to me: "If Jurgen Klopp is going after him, then." I am all in on him and I thought that was really really interesting because they're obviously looking at how well our clubs run looking at the footballers that we brought in looking at our transfer strategy and gone well that's worked that's worked that's worked that's worked if they're going for him you know yeah. well maybe and I think maybe there is a little bit of PR in this for Man United he's already said and it's already been quoted as saying that he doesn't want to go to an Arsenal for instance because they're not in the Champions League so why would he want to go to United why, why indeed I think this, the other thing about this I think it's interesting Craig this the idea of what type of forward that he is in that there's not actually it'd be one of those where because of the nature of him because he is six foot two because he, he is you know he almost looks like the fellow who wears number nine if you know what I mean he'll always be sort of viewed that way in a way which I think is quite interesting because I think Sadio Mane actually plays some quite traditional number nine-ish bits but we've seen him do loads of stuff on the left wing so yeah, yeah. I think everyone's going to act as though or are things now massively different at Liverpool whereas really I just think it's at most going to be evolution but if not it's going to be more of the same and I don't mean that as a bad thing I mean it's a really good thing yeah yeah definitely I think 
look, we want him to have different facets to this game, and we want Liverpool to have different facets and, and different plans. Plan A, Plan B. I think whenever you look at him, he, like you say, he looks like the quintessential number nine. But whenever you watch the videos of him, like he loves to be out wide and come in. There's almost like a drop of the shoulder, like Torres to go by lads like that. He almost goes by them with ease. There's a bit of Sadio Mane in there, trickery inside the box and sort of close quarters. You know, there's and, and then and then as Gareth mentioned, the thing that I was very excited about was was his head out and ability. And we've seen how Diogo Jota, for instance, at Liverpool, who is a little fella and has been able to to benefit off the delivery of Trent, for instance, uh, and score so many headers. And now we've got another one that could possibly do that as well. To get full access to this show, click on the link in the post and subscribe to Tour Premium. You get all of our content, including previews, reviews, post-match content, exclusive interviews and loads of transfer chats. So subscribe to the Anfield app now. We share the journey of supporting Liverpool from heart to the city.